So who takes out the garbage in your home? Who dusts? Is it just the wife or just the husband? We're curious, but we're gonna talk about the division of responsibilities in a happy family. Stay with us. Hey, it's Scott Christopher once again. Thank you for joining us. Uh, sitting in this entire month is my wife, Liz, and uh, I don't know, if she likes it, she might not just be sitting in for Jeff Burke. She might have to just join me or us regularly. I don't know. I don't think we'll have a problem with her I, taking <laughs> over for really? Jeff. No. I kind of like... See, Jeff and I can't talk about the things that you and I can talk about and thus dispense some of our provincial wisdom on other couples and or mothers and fathers. Today we're going to talk about how to balance husband and wife responsibilities. First one is, I don't do videos. He does. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically speaking, making YouTube videos is not a husband responsibility in as much as there's no children involved or any other domestic things except the fact that we are sitting in our kitchen. But let's talk about responsibilities um, and just sort of our experiences over the years. So what are some things that, um, from the outset of our marriage, are there things that have evolved from the beginning? Are there things that have stayed the same? And what do you perceive as some of the responsibilities in general that husbands and wives have? Well, That was a lot of questions for you. Did you stack yeah. them all up in there? No, not quite. Okay. Well, we've kind of done the more traditional husband and wife responsibilities. Um, I stayed home with the kids, and I have five boys to raise and so no that I, wasn't by the way i'm gonna cut you off that wasn't always your plan was no. it oh gosh no what happened what changed having a child i mean i got my, my degree and you, I she had her on, college degree before i did i mean yeah, years I before planned i planned on getting an mba and going forward always had a desire to be in the workforce and uh, which i supported right may yeah. i just be very as an actor for those of you that uh, have seen me in shows such as and, and, no. Anyway, uh, to me that would be like, that was kind of like the dream was, oh, my wife who's so aggressive and ambitious is gonna get her MBA and be wildly wealthy and I can just be this lazy actor who doesn't need to make money. That's how we started. Then, then you have your kid and I didn't wanna leave him with anybody else. And by the way, did we have our child? When did we have our child? At 23, 24 weeks. But when did we get married? Oh, what do you mean, 1989? <laughs> I don't know what you're asking. I guess I'm just asking, how long was it until we had a baby? How long? Not to cover my tracks or to prove that it was like wasn't three a shotgun and a half wedding. Years. That's all I'm saying. We were. I was. I, I just turned 22, and she was barely 20. So this was a different generation. It's true. We got married younger then. Right. But we didn't start having our kids for about three years. Yeah. Yeah. And so after that, I wanted to stay home with him. And then we had more children and I just stayed home. But I had a degree so I could do things. But even though I was home, I was always busy with projects. Well, but so go back to the point here, right? So you decide once, once you got pregnant and actually you worked through your pregnancy, right. which was awful. And then when we had him, our first boy, we have five boys. Then it was really, and I always believed that I, that I would be kind of the breadwinner is the term, you know, the one who makes the money for the family. But it didn't matter to me. But once we did start having children, and I think at that point the reason that we could have a child is because I was really finally settling into work in the radio industry where I had health insurance and a pretty decent payday for that time and for my age. Right. We felt pretty uh, almost, um, uh, what's the word, uh, prosperous or, or uh, not right. affluent, but I mean, we felt well, we didn't. like we had money at that point. We were so young. I mean, but it was we like, now we can afford to get Gerber food and diapers and things. Right. But compared to what people think today, like I remember we didn't go out to eat. I don't Ever. think until our third child no. was about eight. We couldn't afford to. So it's not like we had all this money, but we chose to have me stay home and raise the kids. We did one No, car. right. That's what I'm saying. In, in, in It's relative, you know, in, in the proper perspective. Yeah, we weren't, by anyone's standards, wealthy. But for us, our, Especially our upbringing at that. and the jobs that we'd had before, for me to have a salaried position 
with benefits. For us, it felt like, right. what a blessing. You know, we, we pray, we do the best we can, and it, we felt like the Lord had just dumped blessings on us. And it felt selfish to not start bringing other little so we established, we kind of had traditional roles. You were the breadwinner. I stayed home and raised the boys. What other roles have we had? In well, so for example, there's things like, you know, who's going to discipline the kids? Who's going to be the bad cop? Who's going to be the you. good cop? You know, but, but did we ever sit and establish those things? Did we ever plan that out? No. No. You just kind of, kind dad of, was more the firm one and took it, that. It happens organically. You know, when it came to child care, child rearing, as Liz said, you know, she decided to stay home and be with him. So the majority of the day was certainly on you while I was out doing things. Early on, I probably wasn't the best at, I'm home, let's switch. You right, know. but you also came home and you were tired from working all day and stuff. What about like housekeeping? cleaning and what cooking meals and stuff like that. What do you think our responsibilities were? Well, I know that? what the right answer is. <laughs> okay, what's so here, the truthful answer? I'm just, no, the right answer is that you should equally share those to the extent that, like you've just said, well, if one person is at work 10 hours that day, obviously they're not equally sharing the load. But when that person comes home, they can, when they see things, they can clean them when they do, you know. Right. We, we've sort of... In a, in a, and this is, I think this is, uh, you know, this is one of those bits of advice that's fairly general, but it's, you know, share responsibilities based on your unique and individual circumstances. What do I mean by that? Well, Liz loves neatness, tidiness, cleanliness. She's not fastidious about it or, you know, obsessive compulsive, but she, like many women, not to paint your gender that way, but they like things neat. Guys, generally, again, very clichéically. We can be slobs. I can be a slob and I can let it go for a couple of days and then I go, I've got to clean this hole up. Whereas she's like, it needs to be clean yesterday. <laughs> right. So the understanding of different personalities is important. I forgive her for being extremely neat. So basically, and she forgives I just me. never have to clean because I'm okay with it? Is what you're saying. No, but you are clean you, way more but are you suggesting you that I don't clean? That's what I'm saying. No, you do way more now. Right. It's You'll a, do the dishes. I've grown into it. Right. But by the same token, talking about the, the, kind of the division of duties, you know, there's sort of the grunt, blue collar, heavy lifting work that generally speaking, the man does, right? Right. The fixing of things, the mowing the lawns, the weeding of the this or that. Now she, in our particular marriage, does a lot of that because she A, enjoys it, B, she's good at it, and C, I'm neither of those things. But you things. mow and weed whack. So that's what I'm saying. That's kind of bulk work, and she does more of the finessing. She plants the stuff and makes it look pretty. I just move things here to there. If we have a, a, a truckload of bark we have to put out, me and the boys will take all the right, heavy stuff over and do all the heavy things. We had a big thing of gravel dumped in our driveway one time that we had to put somewhere and we had to do all the wheelbarrowing. But I just think you don't have to have traditional no, responsibilities. No, absolutely not. Like I've always done the finances. That's another one. I, I don't even get finances. But it also was because you traveled so much and that was before we had, you know, where it just automatically pays through your bank. Right. So I always took care of the finances. But I think in any marriage, decide what your strengths are and go from there. You don't need to have traditional roles. He's stronger than me. He's going to move the bulky stuff. I'm actually better with power tools and fixing things, so I will do that. She gets those for Christmas. Those are her gifts. Get me a bandsaw. Get me a drill. Get me a power yeah. blower. And I, mean, I like fixing things and doing things and tiling, painting, whatever. He's not going to do that, and that's okay. Yeah. You don't have to have gender-specific but I think including your kids and all those different things is important so they can learn how to do things that you've done and things right. that I've done. And I would say, and I won't leave this dangling, but I would say there are some gender-specific strengths from a very general gender, gender discussion and conversation that we do possess as men and women. And, and I wouldn't say nary the twain shall meet, well, but the fact is, is you're just preternaturally more compassionate and soft-spoken and kind and 
And I just, I truly believe that is a, a function and a beautiful divine part of womanhood. Whereas I am a stinky, large, I, I'm built for getting, changing these light bulbs up in the ceiling that she's afraid of a ladder to get on. Of course, so am I, but I'll do it anyway. She screams at spiders, I squash the spiders. She moves because of mice, I hunt and kill the mice. I'm just saying, I'm not putting that all on everyone else, but in a general sense, there, That's are, what we do. there are divisions that I think are... That, that somewhat exists. You right. Know what I mean? And I'm grateful I was able to stay home with our children. Mm -hmm. I think that was very important. And there are house husbands now that it, where it switches. And if that works if for that you. Works for the, but I'm glad beautiful. we were able to do it. I how am we did it. thrilled. If I could leave one final endorsement. Very happy that this is the way ours worked out. I think it's worked out nice. Oh, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so if you liked this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. We want to see you at our next video. Because we can see you.